Hey, it's Paul, and here on The Friendly Viewer, we do tons of tech reviews and product reviews. Make sure to subscribe if you want to watch more videos just like this one. Recently, I booked a trip to the UK and need a new power adapter. I picked up one of these all-in-one universal international power adapters. We're going to take a look at how well it worked in this video. This is the Iron M All-in-One International Power Adapter. It comes in basic packaging that protected it during shipping. I did notice that the packaging showed a feature where it will display the charging voltage, but the real product doesn't do this. It's not really a disappointment, since they didn't advertise this feature to begin with. You can select from a few color options, and I went with the blue one. It has settings for the US, the UK, Europe, and Australia. It is simple to operate. You simply move the selector switch to the option that you'd like, press the button on the back, and then move the slider to expose the selected plug. Then release the button and it'll stay put. It's pretty sturdy, as you can see. Although it doesn't have a numeric display, it does have an LED to show when it's powered. Here, I tested it in England to see how it would do. It felt pretty secure, and I didn't have any issues with it. I used it for about two weeks to power my laptop and charge my iPhone with a USB port. It worked just fine. I found the LED feature to be particularly nice, since a lot of the power outlets in the UK have switches next to them, and you could tell which one was on or which one was off. Although it worked well, I did have a few minor issues. There was one outlet that had a switch close enough to it that the edge of the plug would turn the switch off. I had to nudge it over just slightly, and then it was fine and I could turn the switch back on. I did notice occasionally a spark when plugging the device into it. No damage was done, but it's a little alarming when you see a spark. The last one is more of a warning. Since you retract the plug portion when you take it with you, you can have the tendency to want to put your hand on it and push it back in right after unplugging it from a wall. Don't do this because you could really zap yourself if there's still a charge in there, especially if it's still powered to some sort of power source to a laptop. It is set up in a way where you do have to unplug the laptop power source before you can retract the plug, but still you can have the tendency to try to push that back in using your hand versus using the slider, so just watch out and be careful. So overall, this is a great option if you travel to these different countries and regions of the world and want one power adapter and not have to keep buying new ones or carrying a bunch with you. A couple little notes here. There are some that I've seen that not only has the USB ports, but also has the USB-C port, which is going to be useful for future compatibility. And I'll put a link to that in the description below. If you go to the same country all the time or same region, there are better options out there that are a bit more compact than this one. It's not going to give you all these options but it's going to be compact and maybe you actually have multiple outlets. I'll put a link to that also in the description below. So just check out the description. You get a link to this and all those products that I just talked about. This has been Paul with your review of the all-in-one international power adapter. Thank you for watching.